I just want you to know this from an athletic perspective. When you get ready to make this transition into your life after sports in this next phase, when you get into this, this workforce, let's just talk about work for a little minute. Even life. You got so much of an unfair advantage if you are able to be consciously aware of all the things your particular sport then gave you back. Because when you get to the work world, you're going to be forced with deadlines and pressure. And there's going to be some people in that place that have never played sports in their life. And they're going to crumble and buckle and fold on the deadlines and pressure. Guess what? You don't have a chance to practice that already. Your sport then put you in a controlled environment where you can practice your emotional response. You can practice the highs, how you're going to respond to a high, how you're going to respond to a low. You can practice making a mistake and how you're going to respond to it. You can practice getting something wrong and how you're going to respond to it. Like You get a chance to practice that on a regular basis. Most people don't get a chance to practice it. They come out of college or high school, they in real life. Once some major happens, they got to respond to it in real life time. You don't have a chance to practice it 10,000 hours worth making you a professional at handling life and handling business and how you're going to respond to something. So when you talk about what the game done gave you, if you take time to sit back and assess the situation, you are pro at so many things already, but you don't even know it. Like you ain't even tapped into it. So the question you got to ask yourself is when you're putting in this work, these 20 hours a week and you're watching this film, or, or you you waiting on this person to come out of this particular break if, you, if you're on the football field, like your patience or your your, your awareness or your your your, your ability to, to make a decision on, on, on a drop of a dime, how can those things benefit you and how can you use those to your advantage? Because there's some other people that you're going to work with, that you're going to be in life with, they ain't never been put in a situation to practice it. So when it happens to them, it's real life, they fold, they pressure, they panic, and you, and, and, and you got an opportunity to take the steering wheel by the, by, the, by, the, by, the, by, the, by the handle and just lead the way. So that's what the game done gave you as an athlete, but you might not even recognize it yet. That's what the game is doing for athletes across the board, but a lot of them don't even recognize it yet because they don't think it correlates off the field, off the court, off the track, out the pool. So you got to start sitting back and assessing your talents and assessing these gifts and assessing all this work you're putting in and stop thinking about, hey, I gave the game my blood, my sweat, my tears, hours of my life. I gave the game... I, I gave the game the commitment, dedication, focus, and the game didn't give me nothing back. I ain't gonna make it to the league, or I ain't gonna make it to get paid for, or or I'm gonna work in sports and, and gonna get this job and be average. Nah, the game done presents you to to, to be the best at what you want, whatever you decide to do. You just gotta decide to use those tools and those attributes that the game done gave you for that benefit. <laughs>